and my name is James Randall, a licensed clinical psychiatrist, and I am here with some of my favorite people in the world, and Holden Maddox. I'm here to provide the Pinga Fria family, Asher, and Holden Maddox some free, all expenses paid, health mental care family counseling. You see, we have a little bit of an issue here with the Pinga Fria family. It turns out that whenever one of Mr. Pinga Fria Osvaldo's children chooses to migrate from Cuba and look for him, they end up dead. Today, we are going to attempt to get to the bottom of why. Not to investigate these happenstances as crimes, but to look into the psychological situation going on deep inside Mr. Pingafria's skull and find out why he is such a terrible father incapable of keeping his children alive for more than 48 hours after he comes into contact with them for the first time in years. And also, Holden Maddox is here. Let's get started. Everybody, I would like you to introduce yourselves one I, by one, starting I, with... <laughs> I would like to make take this moment of thanks to the, the, the Commonwealth and the Eleven Society for everything that they have done for uh, supporting us and uh, the, the, the fight lives on. Yes. No! Oh, Mr. Asher, if you would like to introduce yourself to the studio audience. Uh, and the folks no watching dog. at home. What's good? It's me, Asher Block. And, uh, yeah, I'm here. I guess, uh, technically I'm a Pinga Freya, but, uh, Holden adopt me first as his grand grandson, so I was part of his family first, so I'll be on this team, I guess. I don't know. Very good. Uh, oh. uh, Osvaldo's uh, daughter, if you would like to introduce yourself to the folks watching at home. Hola, my name is Rosalina Pingafria, Viva Cuba. Favorite child. Oh. Incorrect. I mean, the most painful to lose. Yes, you as well, young man. I am Pete Pingafria. Okay. I grew up in Cuba. I searched long and hard for my padre. I came here to have a goal, to get a hug from him, which I have accomplished already. So my life is already complete. She okay, in, you show in, off. In the, in the psychological binge, we call what you're experiencing self-actualization. If we could all be so fortunate to experience self-actualization from getting a hug from Mr. Osvaldo. The only thing I get when I receive a hug from Mr. Osvaldo is little bits of grease and sweat upon my torso. Now, speaking of Osvaldo, it is time to inter introduce the star of today's show, the focal point, the cause for all the harm here recently, Mr. Osvaldo Pingafria. Please introduce yourself to the studio audience and the folks at home. Osvaldo Pingafria, leader of the Cuban... So Pengar. you stupid boss! <coughs> Remember when you used to show... Guys, we do you and me! And then you get... <laughs> uh. My name is Osvaldo Pingafria, leader of the Cuban Federales. Um, James Randall keeps murdering my kids. That's all I have to say. And 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 Holden uh, encourages him. <laughs> well said, Padre. That's crazy. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. As you can see here, we're dealing with text deflection. Ivaldo, let's start with Holden. Hello, Holden. What do you hear? When when it when Osvaldo says that I, Mr. James Randall, is the cause for his 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 his, his torment and the killer of his children. I I, I think he's an awful man. 
who can't even raise a small rebellion in a clothing store as a terrorist, and he can't raise children, and he's solely to blame for all of the problems that we face day to day. And rightfully, I should stab him. Let's what? unpack that. What? Let's unpack that. He's the larger okay. world. He's, he's a shite everybody, horse. Everybody, everybody, hey, calm. Calm, be brash in here. You'll give your time to respond to the claims that Halden has made living against your father. I understand it may be harmful uh, for you to hear such uh, horrible things being spoken by such a disturbed man. However, this is my studio, and I will not hesitate to cut a bitch if they are <laughs> causing problems. You need to step uh, away from me or look close. Halden, let's unpack. Mr. 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 you say that he he could not start a rebellion in a clothing store. What the, how that how you feel that? How does that make you? Feel? I I he's he's a delusional man. I he he he's, he's trying to kill me, and okay. I won't I won't have it. Okay, okay, all right. Asher, Mr. Block. Uh, how would you describe your typical day-to-day -day experience with Mr. Oswald Opinga for you? Uh, well, I mean, typically we drive around in one of his many cars that uh, he basically commits terrorism in by destroying every single bit of the car. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I mean, when you drive with Osvaldo, he literally hits more signs on the sidewalk than he, uh, you know... Well, I mean, then he hits cars, at least. And I mean, he doesn't hit too many cars. But... He's reckless, isn't he? he and he's just always yeah. running me over. I mean, like, right. oh, hold it! What a, what a He does uh. it on purpose, James. Uh. Uh. I mean, if those signs were his kids, uh, I mean, it would be pretty much the same as what we're seeing here on a regular basis, you know? I think that he thinks all the traffic signs on the side of the road are his children. Uh. No, no, I do not think that. Okay, all right. So we've heard from Holden and we've heard from Asher. Miss, uh, girl, how do you feel um, about your father, Mr. Pingafria? How do, as I, 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 if I had to guess, I, I would assume you two, you, this, uh, uh, you will have very different opinions from those on this side of the, the, the me. Osvaldo Pigafini is the world's best padre. Mm -hmm. He may not have been around very much, and he may never have answered any of the letters that I wrote him on a daily basis, but I know for sure through extensive research on the internet and through meeting him today for um, maybe like, you know, an hour, I know for sure that he is the world's best padre, and I would oh. do anything for him. You see, you see folks at home, there's no, there's no love quite as delusional as a daughter's love for her father now mr boy uh how how what what is your perception of your father my father they said many legends about him they in cuba they said that he nursed babies from his breasts he was just an insane what? legend that's right what? i feel only love for him. I searched long and hard, and I finally found him. And I've felt nothing but love. He's the best papa anyone could ever have. Oh, oh, yes, oh yes, yes, yes. I will. Now, Mr. Pingafria, we've heard from your son, who bravely, bravely wants you to breastfeed him. We've heard from your daughter, who cyberstalked you. We've heard from Holden Maddox, who thinks you are a low-quality terrorist. And we've heard from Asher Block, who thinks you are committing traffic violations in an effort to scare him into submission, which is a common abuse tactic. Now, Mr. Pingafria, they've been coming at you from all angles. <laughs> some of the angles good, some of the angles bad. Let's hear from you. The floor is yours. First off, I am I am the best driver in this damn city. If they if they have they have goalposts around the city, you know they they want you to hit those things. That, that that's what they want you to do. Okay. Second of all, Holden 
is an actual terrorist. I am not a terrorist, okay? I, I was dragged into it by James. All right, James decided to to say Viva Cuba and threw a grenade at like 17 fucking cops, all right? That was not me. And 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 I I never breastfed a single person. And Pete is my favorite kid. Uh, uh. All right, thank you. Thank you. Well, Papa. Mr. Pinga Fria, as a licensed psychiatrist, it is not my job to judge. However, as a man, I will do it. I think Halbin's crazy, and we should not listen to anything he says. Objection! Mm. He thinks this is a courtroom, and that I am a judge. I oh. also That's think that Marjorie. Asher is a violent, violent criminal, who was at one time, if not still is, part of an aggressive street gang known as the Blocks, which oh. I am the leader of. Oh. And... I think, I think your daughter may not actually be your daughter and may just be a crazed stalker who found what? you what? Uh, while you were running for political office and is now coming to pretend to be your daughter because she longs for power. And I think <laughs> your son, what? your son, I'm not entirely sure. But I think he might just be a man exploring his sexuality, looking to get his mouth on some man tit. That being said, I don't think you're a very good father. And I think that comes from the fact that you are unable to take responsibility for your role in the parenting of your children. Your son, Rico Pingafria, lunged at me with a strong, firm, ball-peen hammer. And I defended myself by popping that man right in the face. And I don't feel good about that. I don't like hurting people, Ashvaldo. I did not want to hurt your son. Your other son. Paco. He lunged at me on the roof of a top. Stop. Ooh. Get him, oh, Padre. Oh, yeah. He's talking about my kids. He's talking crazy. You. He's talking they sorts of crazy. He's talking about my kids. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Isvaldo Pingafria sells the best cocaine in the entire state of San Andreas. Ooh, baby! Welcome back, everybody, to Dr. James. On my left, we have the Pingafria family, and on my right, we have a man who's very important to me, and Holden Maddox. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you very much for tuning into the television radio today. Here today, we have had an in incident before the commercial break where the Pingafria family became violent. This violence was orchestrated and instituted by Ajvaldo Pingafria himself. Now, it is my expert medical opinion that the reason Mr. Pingafria's children continue to become so violent and try to kill me so good is because they are merely doing what they were taught. It is my opinion as a psychiatrist that Osvaldo Pingafria is a violent, violent man, and his children are now violent due to a cycle of violence witnessing their violent father being violent and choosing to be violent themselves. Recall Pingafria lunged at me with a hammer and unfortunately lost his life. Paco Pingafria lunged at me and tried to throw me off of the roof of a building and unfortunately lost his life. I'm gonna fucking kill you, James. I don't know what happened to Osvaldo's third son. Osvaldo, maybe we can get to the root of this trauma and try to quell your angry desires. Well, Mr. Ping of... I think you paid Carter to taser my son and murder him. Which one was this, Osvaldo? Paco. Who was the one I threw off the building? After Rico. He doesn't even remember. <laughs> doesn't no, remember. I, I just want to know who killed my wife. I, uh, I think it was also James who killed your wife. A dead son. A second dead son. A third dead son. And a dead daughter. When will the violence end? I will admit, my hands are up. Guilty. 
You got me. I did it. I ended Roxy. the lives of the no. I ended the lives of the first did. two. No, I ended the lives of the first two boys in self defense while they were trying to kill me. I don't feel good about it. And Ashvaldo, I can only imagine it has brought you inexplicable pain. However, it is not my responsibility that a police officer incapable of supplying the proper amount of force caused lethal death to your third son. And it is not my fault that your daughter, first of her name, was a clumsy little gremlin who slipped and fell. However, I up. will take responsibility. <laughs> you got me. Guilty as charged. Hey, <laughs> I'll be the first to admit. Yeah, when we had her cremated, I tripped and fell. I dropped her ashes into the water. And I got thirsty course, and I drank Padre. some of that water. Of course, Padre. This is for oh. Padre! Oh. I'm trying to help them through their grief. I'm trying to get them to understand that they, I'm not the enemy. Uh, and neither is their father. Uh, the enemy is. Uh, I'm trying. I can't work under these conditions. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm, that I'm professional. There, uh, uh, hold and do what you do. What is, you must. You do, I, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I, I don't. I, we, I know exactly what he's going to do now. I don't necessarily want him to hurt these people, but I know that now he's going to. And I said that because it would be very funny. Oh God. Oh. I, I can't do this. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I can't work under these conditions. Pete? It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Oh, uh, no. Not, Pete not, may have fault. died. I am upset. Oh, this is God. your fucking oh, fault, no. James. Yeah, I can't work oh, under no. these conditions. You, 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 you keep turning father. all of your children into violent fighters. You killed my children. fucking son. You, oh, no. you, you could have turned them into my son actors. is dead because of you. I did nothing. I tried I saw you do it. I saw you stab him. I was right over here. I was trying to bring you all together. I saw you stab him. I can't work under these conditions. I'm calling my agent. Colin, it's not your fault, but I can't. I can't work with these pieces of shit. I can't work with it. This is like oh, professional yeah, oh, on the phone wow. pit. I, I am. Can't